These are the markings in the hair braidings to place three meant easies for the brow lift, one meant easy for the left lower cheek, and otherwise eight meant 43s for the face. I'm using tumescent local anesthesia with 0.3% lidocaine with one to 200,000 concentration of epinephrine. Starting with the 30 gauge and 25 gauge needles, but then moving to the 22 gauge spinal needles for the remainder of the tumescent and the subcutaneous fat. I'm gonna be putting a total of 200 cc's of this tumescent local anesthesia, which works out to only 10 milligrams per kilogram in this case of tumescent local. And you always have to give extra to all the entrances in the scalp, as well as extra local, perhaps more superficially, to all the exits, which would be here on the cheeks and the brows, as otherwise these will bleed when the needles pass through them or hurt. You want to make sure everything is white. You give a little more local anesthesia wherever it's not white because that means it will bleed if you don't. And then you put the hair drape on and I make these 1.5 millimeter punch incisions. These will be for the mint easies which are going over the product where it's not as deep but you want to make sure you don't see the needles as they pass. Make sure there's no hair getting caught. And then you do the temporal passers. I'm going wide, but not going deep. Doing two separate places for those, threading the needles, and then putting the blunt passer through the face. Going deeper when I'm in the cheek here, pulling out the blunt passer, allowing the sharp cannula to poke through the skin, threading each needle, and then removing the sharp cannula. And just repeat this. The top one is crossed because I don't want it to get too close to the eye. I'm using a more posterior one. And I pull them all tight and cut them doing the same thing on the other side. This time there are no mint easies, just the four mint 43s. I crossed that first one. I didn't want to get too close to the orbital rim. I started from a more posterior entrance. Otherwise, I'm just going in order. In this case, moving away from me from top to bottom. And then when they're all in there, you need to pull them as tight as you can, which I palm the skin up and then I cut them as short as I can. And then you put some more local to these entrances and exits, make some more 1.5 millimeter punch incisions. I place the mint easy straight across the midline, coming in and out directly above the brows at where I'm going to be exiting. And I pass in the sub -Q. I don't want to see the needle that much, just barely see it. I don't want it to be too deep, of course. And you're poking out through this incision, cut it just short enough that you can pull on it later, and then you do each side of the brow. Once again, having the 1.5 millimeter punch incisions, I'm going straight above these areas when I do it. Make sure I pull out any hairs that may be getting stuck in there. This was the path of the 12 mint 43 centimeter long threads. This is her just one day after before the dimples were released. No, she's really not that swollen, but she just needs to have her dimples released. They actually release very easy. They make a sound that she can hear. You can feel a little pop from the threads because the first day they're not on extremely well. And I was just waiting for the numbing to go away so I could decide how much to release. I didn't want to overdo it the first day. This was the path of the three meant easies for the brow lift. And now I'm releasing those dimples also quite easily on the brow. You don't want to overdo it because they actually come down quite easy. I'm just trying to get rid of any obvious dimples. I'll see her again the next day, but this is still one day after the mint lift where she looks quite good. And it shows you how much difference you can make with 12 of these mint 43 centimeter threads. She actually doesn't have any in the neck, but just pulling this much on the cheeks lifts up her jowls and nasal labial folds. And her tired eyes went away. You can make more adjustments tomorrow. This is enough for one day afterwards because you just want to see when the swelling goes down.